Hi, my name is Jovan and I am Program Manager working on a SQL Server and Azure SQL Database. In this video, I will show you what is Automatic Plan Correction, new Intelligent Database feature in SQL Server and Azure SQL Database. In this video, we will see what is plan change regression and what kind of problems it can cause. Then, we will see what is Automatic Plan Correction and how it can fix plan change regression problems. Finally, we will see a demo with automatic plan correction in action. So what is the problem that we are trying to solve? SQL Server compiles T-SQL queries into query plans. Query plans are stored into plan cache after compile. When we have new T-SQL query, SQL Server will reuse existing query plan from the cache if it exists. Plans are retained in cache for some time. They are recompiled when statistics change, when schema changes, where plan cache is flushed. In this picture, we can see that one query used four plans, orange, blue, green, and red. Sometimes after recompile, performance of new plan are worse than performance of the previous plan. In this case, we can see that fourth plan, the red one, is using more CPU than previous plans. This is known as plan choice regression. One of the solutions for this is to execute a procedure SP force plan that will force some previous plan instead of this red plan. In SQL Server 2017, we have a new feature that we are calling automatic plan correction. For every query, we will remember something that we call last good plan. It is the last plan that had good performance when it was executed. When SQL Server creates a new plan, in this case, the red plan, we will pair performance of this new plan with the less good plan. After some detection phase, when we finish this detection check, we will know what is the difference between the current plan and the last good plan. If there is a significant difference, we will just automatically force previous plan and fix performance issue. In this case, we have forced green plan again. After we force the green plan, we are starting what we call verification phase, where we are constantly monitoring performance of the forced plan. So we are periodically measuring performance of forced plan and comparing performance with execution statistics of the last good plan. In this case, we can find that CPU usage is higher, so we can force SQL Server to recompile this plan and come out with the third plan that will probably have better performance. In this case, this is the blue plan that has better performance than green plan. Now we will see how it works in action. In this web application, I have one component that is sending a request to SQL Server database. This application is sending T-SQL query select average unit price from sales order lines filtered by package type ID. On the database, I have turned on automatic tuning using this T-SQL statement. Alter database current set automatic tuning force last good plan on. Now, this database will monitor plan changes and force last good plan if it detects some performance regression. When I press this regression button, I will cause plan choice regression. So now I'm getting four requests per second instead of 60 requests per second. Database will detect that there is a change in the plan and it will automatically fix the problem. Now after a couple of seconds, I'm getting 70 requests per second as earlier. Now we will see what is happening under the hood. I will find my database, go to Query Store, find top resource consuming queries. I will switch to CPU time and show average CPU time that this query uses. Here I have one query that use plan number one. And this query is using column store index, scan, and hash match aggregate. 
Now, when I click on regression button, I will get new plan, plan 2, that use 260 milliseconds CPU time instead of 2 milliseconds. SQL database will detect that there is a difference between plan 2 and plan 1, and it will automatically force this plan 1 because it is less good plan. If I refresh this, I will see this check mark that tells me that this plan 1 is forced. So SQL database fixed the regression using automatic plan forcing. Now we will see more details about this automatic tuning and how it works. In this database, I will execute this query, select average unit price quantity from sales order, where package ID equals this parameter, where package ID is 7. This query will return result and it will scan 200,000 rows in sales order line table. If I include actual execution plan, I will see that this query is using column store index, column store index scan because it needs to scan a lot of rows and it is scanning around 200,000 rows. And we have hash match that is used to calculate this average unit price multiplied by quantity. Now I will execute this query 60 times and you can see that it is very fast. If I go to database query store top resource consuming queries, switch to CPU and show average CPU, I can see this query and I can see that it used this plan with column store scan and hash match. We need around 1.6 milliseconds CPU time for each query execution, which is fine. Now, I will cause performance regression. First, I will clear procedure cache. Then I will execute T-SQL query, the same T-SQL query with package type zero. Interesting thing here is that this query will uh, scan only one row into order line table because I have only one order line with package type zero. So let me see what will happen now. I'm executing this query and my execution plan has index seek and stream aggregate. SQL Server choose to use index seek because he knows that there's only one row in order lines with package type ID zero. When we go back to top resource consuming queries, we can see that we have two plans. One plan with column store index scan, and second plan with index seek. Now, this is fine. SQL Server didn't make any mistake because you can see that this plan two is actually better for second query. The plan two used less than one millisecond CPU time to execute it. So actually this is a good choice. One thing that SQL Server cannot know is that I will execute 20 times the same query with package type 7. Now, when I execute this, SQL Server will use plan with index seek that is currently in plan cache. He thinks that it, he will get one or 10 rows, but actually he's getting 200,000 rows. Execution of this query is very slow. If we go to top recent consuming queries again, and if we refresh this diagram, we can see that plan two is using 10,000 milliseconds to execute this query. This is plan regression. In SQL Server 2016, you can solve this problem if you choose good plan and press this button, force query one to use plan one. However, this might be a tedious job if you have a lot of performance regressions.
In SQL Server 2017, we have added a new view called DMDB Tuning Recommendations. If you execute this script, you can find a report with all performance reg plan regression that happened in SQL database. In this case, we know that average query CPU time changed from 1.6 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. And here is T SQL script with SP query store force plan that you should execute to fix this problem. Now you can create some application that constantly read this view, execute this query, and if something is returned, you can automatically execute this script. But you don't need to do it because we already have a mechanism that do this automatically. Now I will do the same thing, but I will enable automatic tuning on SQL database. First, I will initialize everything and enable automatic tuning, force last good plan and set it to value on. I will do the same thing as in previous part. I will execute this query 60 times and you can see that it is very fast. I will go to top resource consuming queries again and I can see that I have plan one that use column store index scan and performance are fine. Now I will, will cause performance regression again. I will clear procedure cache and execute this query with package type zero. You can see here that I'm again getting this plan with index seek and stream aggregate. Now I will execute this query again and use package type 7. In previous case, I got worse uh, plan and it was very slow. And now we will see what's happening. I'm executing query and it is slow because we have this index C operator in the plan. Query will use this index C operator, but after some time, you can see that plan was changed from the plan with index seek to the plan with column store index scan. So after some number of execution, SQL Server noticed that there is a big difference between this plan and this plan, and it automatically just switch to the new plan. From this point on, we are using the optimal plan and we are fixing performance regression. If we go back to top resource consuming queries, and refresh this view, we will see that we have here plan 2 that cause performance regression. And we can see here a check mark that shows that we have forced this last good plan and we have fixed performance regression. So the bad plan is here and the good plan 1 with column story index scan is here. To summarize, in this video we have seen what is plan change regression and how it can affect performance of your application. Then we have seen how automatic plan correction can immediately fix plan change regression problems. This feature is available in SQL Server 2017 in Azure SQL database. Thank you for watching this video.